Hi friends, it's Joanne. How are you? I'm so excited to be coming to you today with a Bramble Fox layout. Look at all the Easter and spring goodies in the shop. Oh my gosh, I'm going to link the Bramble Fox website below. And we do have a monthly Fox Box subscription that is so amazing. You get exclusive items just delivered to your door every month like a subscription. Look at this. Bloomin' lovely, good life, some umbrellas. I can't even with these bunnies and the little chicks for Easter. Wait till you see. I'm scrapbooking my good friend and I do my little girlfriend's album for her. But look, she's holding a baby chick. So, oh my gosh, right? Perfect. So I'm definitely using those. I don't know what title I'm going to use yet. But we also have the best mom ever in Love You. That's going to be perfect. I'm probably going to use this with that. And then we have bee kind for bees and butterflies and some clouds. The butterflies come in different colors, so you can check those out in the shop. And these are our new rainbows, and they are so super cool. I have to show these to you. They are, for lack of a better word, they're like rubbery, and they're so cool. Look how thick they are, and they're beautiful. I love them. And they come in different colors. So that one's got a little bit of dark purple in it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a scratch piece of white cardstock. It's not um, something, it's very thin. It's, it's I use it to back photos and to have a 12 by 12 to adhere pattern paper to. I wouldn't use it as a background because it's just too thin. So I wanna put this in the middle but I want to put some of this pretty pink. Look at these papers. This is April 2022 hip kits, and this is one of my favorite hip kits ever. I have tons of it, and I've been hoarding it, but my little girlfriend gets to have some of it because I love her. All right, so what I want to do is take this in the middle and two pieces of pink, but I want to rip some of this and then put the pictures here i'll show you as we move along we also have this awesome um tool i guess you want to call it and look at the edge so you can rip your papers so let's say i'm going to rip some of this now i'm going to show this to you you put it down on your paper and it makes it so so easy and then you're going to take underneath if i can get there and then just lay this against it and then there's going to be a little popping of the paper and you just rip like this these are in the shop now several different of them i'm not sure it's a tool i'm not sure exactly what to call it and then look how perfect is that it just does it for you so i want to put some like this and then another piece up here I went through the ephemera packs and all that and figured out what pieces of Bramble Fox I think I want to use. And I was thinking something like this, three photos across. I have a couple tags, a couple frames. I just put powder on the back of them so I could move them around a little bit. So let's go ahead and start adhering things down. I think the best thing to do is get this down and then start putting ephemera around it. So let's get this frame up. Well, I guess it's stuck so good. I don't have to worry about adhering that. It's already down. All right, I want the photos to be a little crooked. I don't need them to be perfectly straight. And then I will sneak this little tag under here. I want it peeking off the side here a little bit. And I put just three little, I wound some um, twine around that and then I just tape it on the back. So it stays put and then I'll sneak this in here. Where do I want this? Something like that. So it's up in the top, but still showing a little bit here on the side. And let me get my glue and we'll get this adhered down. And while I'm doing that, 
I hope you can see this. I'll let you look at this paper snips number 21. It is so cute. It's got butterflies and spring and Easter stuff, and I just love it. I think I'm going to build an ephemera down the line of this piece of paper. I think that's going to look super cute. I'll put this one straight and then up more a little bit, I think. Well, no, right there looks good. And then let's get some ATG on this as well. And figure out where we want the tag on that side. Here's a little frame that I want in there too. So let's get that glued down so it doesn't move. All right. Okay, so then I want this to be sort of like that. Is that good? Not really. We got to do this a little bit more. Okay, then I will come in with this tag and get that in there. Again, coming off the top, showing on the right hand side this time a little bit just so it looks super cute. I'm going to come in with some glue and get that adhered down so it doesn't move on me. Here's some ephemera pieces. I was thinking about tucking them in like this. I have it up on a foam square. A little Easter egg. How cute is that Easter egg? I love it. Something like that. A little Easter egg coming there. Let's get that stuck down. So I want the Easter egg there. Let me put some glue underneath it. This, I have a foam, just one little foam square on the back of it. I'll put some glue on the bottom and tuck that in. I don't necessarily need to see the word there. That's good. Oh, I like it. So cute. All right. Then I'm thinking this would be a perfect place for one of the little baby chicks. Put some glossy accents on him. Put him right on this little frame. I'm going to hold him there for a second while he adheres down. I'm going to come in and get some of that. Um, glossy accents that seeped out the side. You can't really see it and it dries like shiny clear but I don't want to look at it so now let's think about this. I don't know what I want to do on this at all. Let me see. I definitely think that this bunny should go right there. Isn't he cute? The Bramble Fox bunny is so adorable. All right and then I was thinking maybe this banner across like that to put this right here. I think that's cute. I'm totally 100% committed to this bunny rabbit. Here's my tweezers. I'm definitely going to hold this for a second because I don't want him to slide around on the photo. Put him there. All right, I think he's good. All right, I'm going to do something here. I don't know what... But this side, I was thinking about doing this awesome flower. And then maybe a pink one here. And then this is from the paper snips right here. And I fussy cut that out. I want to stick this in here because I just think it's adorable. I love the flowers and the little picture that it's in. And the colors of that are perfect for this. These two Bramble Fox pieces, a paper snip here. I love that paper snip. I'm so glad I have two. I don't know if I want that butterfly there or not. It looks kind of cute. I'm going to leave it there for a minute and see if it grows on me. The great thing about these little pieces is depending on what direction you want it to go in, you could just flip your pieces around and use them that way too. Um, I want to get him in here because she's holding a little baby chick stuffed animal. Oh, that's cute. I like him there. All right, let's do that. So I might want a title, and I was definitely thinking this one. Oh, well, didn't that just land perfectly? I want to maybe put this here. I don't know. Let me see what that looks like. Best mom ever. And I was thinking to have the ever come over the top of this pink, line this up the side of the B here with the side of this paper and then the M here lined up with that frame. So let's see if we can do that properly. Um, yeah, that's good. I'm going to hold it down for a second and let that um, get right adhered. Maybe this one. 
Maybe I can do this. And that would be cute. I like that. Okay, and I still want to get this in, but I got to figure out where I can get it. No. Not minding it up here. Let's see. That's okay. Ooh, what about right there? That looks cute. See, you just move things around a little bit until you find a spot where they look good. Let me get a good grip on this so I can get that in there without putting glue everywhere. So, protective coating on the back of your Bramble Fox pieces. Take that off and I think this would be perfectly fine with just regular glue because it's tiny and it's going directly on the photo so that'll here adhere very quickly okay good do the little test here to make sure everything is adhered down these pictures are absolutely adorable I love them okay I'm gonna go through some of the ephemera one more time take a peek see if there's anything else i can get on here and i'll be right back now i wanted to use one of the little sentiment strips from paper stamps 21 and this one here says bloom and marvelous and it matches so well i put a foam strip behind it and i would just like to tuck my sentiments in between two layers of papers and i put some foam behind that so we're going to do that and then I'm going to look and see what we got going on. I got chipboard here. I really like this. Now I'm wondering, would this look good underneath this M? It's like the perfect spot for it. Ooh, I didn't know there was photo corners on this. Let's try that. I think that's going to look cute. I'll put it on the picture part, not the pattern paper part. Oh, that's adorable don't know if I want it on all four corners, maybe just two corners. Let me see. No, I don't like that. Do I like this? Yep, that's cute. I'm going to put that there. Then I can put one here. Let's grab another one. We don't have to put it on all four corners. You can mix them up and put them wherever you want to, really. I think that looks good there. Get some of that free space. And then let's put one here. We'll use it up. Put it, make sure it's like underneath this little flower. And then just go like that. What about this? It says, love this. Well, there's some little teeny hearts on here, too. We might as well just pull this sheet out. How about if I put this... No, I already have words there. Like that. And I'll match that tag. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're doing that. Um, Little teeny hearts. Oh, my gosh. How cute. Now we have puffies. And I see a couple cute things on here I want to get in. I'm definitely thinking, oh my god, this bow. I'm thinking pink fresh gems for this, you guys. Where's my tweezers? Right in front of my face. See, there's that empty space right there. Maybe if I put this here, that would be cute. I wish it was a different color so it wasn't so much pink, but I'm going to use it anyways. It would be really cute if it was blue. Some of these little puffy hearts are absolutely adorable. Let's see if I can get some of those in. Put some. Can you see that? That's not right. Maybe I can get this. Um, let's put it right there. That's cute. This pattern paper heart, though, oh my god, it's got the little gingham print on it. That is super cute. I'm going to put that there. Okay, I am all done, my friends. I am all done. I went ahead and put the pink fresh gems down. I didn't do anything else. I put them around the page just in various different places. I have a little bling here for my little girlfriend. I'll bring this up close so you can see. We got some paper snips here. 
and here and here i love these paper snips they're super easy to fussy cut out we've got two baby chicks best mom ever and this awesome bunny that's my favorite that little bunny is so cute let me show you the dimension of bramble fox it's wonderful so here's this up close i think it came out cute i hope my friends and my little teeny girlfriend like this layout isn't she absolutely beautiful look how super cute she is and those eyes oh my goodness all right guys i'm gonna list all the products that i used in the description box below in addition if you have any questions about bramble fox at all please do feel free to contact me i'm happy to help you okay thank you happy easter to everybody have a good day bye